In this segment of in-dealership training, we're going to take a look at the technical features found on a new Volkswagen Eurovan. What we'll cover is the 2.5 liter 5-cylinder engine and cooling system, the fuel delivery and Digifon engine management systems, the use of shift lock 3 on vehicles equipped with automatic transmission, and an overview of the heating, ventilation, and AC systems. The new Eurovan has been designed for increased driver and comfort, convenience, and safety. Powered by a transverse mounted 2.5 liter engine, the Eurovan delivers 20% more horsepower and 20% more torque than the previous models. The Eurovan's broad torque curve allows for 4,400 pound brake trailer towing capacity while carrying a passenger or cargo weight. Four wheel independent suspension with a front beam torsion bar suspension, rack and pinion power assist steering, and a load sensitive braking system are standard equipment on all models. An optional four-wheel anti-lock brake system is also available on the Eurovan. The Eurovan comes equipped with a new engine. The engine features an overhead camshaft design with two valves per cylinder and a broad torque range for increased durability and towing capacity. The radiator and grill pulls up and forward for easier access to the engine compartment. You'll notice that two radiator fans are used on the Eurovan. Each fan is driven by a 450-watt electric motor. The relays for the radiator fans are located here in the left side of the engine compartment. This relay is for the low speed of both fans. These two control the radiator fan second speed, and these two control third speed. The resistors for the radiator fans are behind the panel below the left headlight. You'll also notice that a shutter is located behind each radiator fan. The shutters are designed to help the engine reach operating temperature faster in colder weather. When the engine is cold, the shutters remain closed to restrict airflow through the radiator and into the engine compartment. As the engine warms up, the shutters gradually open to allow more air to flow across the radiator. The shutters are opened and closed by a wax-type thermostat that is located here between both radiator fans. The bleed for the cooling system on the Eurovan is located here next to the coolant expansion bottle. while the coolant drain is located here underneath the vehicle on the front side of the engine block. The coolant system on a new Eurovan also uses a coolant afterrun pump which is located here. This pump circulates engine coolant after the vehicle is shut off and the coolant temperature is above 104 degrees centigrade. The coolant afterrun pump is turned off and on by this thermal switch. An additional thermal switch is located here. This switch turns off the AC compressor and turns on the radiator fan's high speed when the coolant temperature reaches a predetermined level. A new high-density polyethylene fuel tank is used on the Eurovan. This fuel tank is located behind the front suspension and uses an in-tank fuel pump. The fuel filter is located in front of the fuel tank. The fuel system also uses a new style fuel rail. The rail is split in half and is designed to feed the fuel into the side of the injectors. This allows for shorter injectors which helps minimize the chance of vapor lock. The top portion of the fuel rail is for all the electrical connectors for the injectors. The bottom portion of the fuel rail is to house all the fuel injectors, plus supply the fuel and return fuel. 
The fuel pressure is maintained at 2.5 to 3 bar by a pressure regulator here on the end of the fuel rail. The Eurovan uses a Digifont engine management system. This system is similar to the Digifont system used on the Corrado G60. However, there are some differences. For example, no knock sensor is used. It also uses a single throttle valve housing, which is located here. The CO potentiometer and air intake temperature sensor is located here, above the air intake hose. On future vehicles, this potentiometer will not be equipped with an adjustment screw. The Digifont system has a permanent diagnostic trouble code memory, which can be tested using the 1551 scan tool. The diagnostic connectors for the 1551 are located under the left side of the dash next to the fuse relay panel. The control module for the Digifont system is next to the battery on the left side of the engine compartment. The 098 four-speed automatic transmission is available as an option for the Volkswagen Eurovan. The control module for the automatic transmission is located behind the kick panel on the right A-pillar. Eurovans with a four-speed automatic will come equipped with a shift lock three system. The key cannot be removed from the ignition switch until the shift lever is placed in the park position. Once the key is removed, the shift lever is locked in the park position. The selector lever cannot be moved until the ignition is switched on and the brake pedal is depressed. This helps provide greater theft security. The shift lock three system is operated by a Bowden cable connected to the ignition lock assembly and the shift lever. The cable can be adjusted here if needed. You can refer to the repair manual for proper adjustment procedures. By the way, all your vans will have this extension to the right side of the transmission. The extension allows for equal length drive shafts, which minimizes torque steer. Your vans will also be available with a new O2B five-speed manual transmission. This transmission uses a rod-style shift linkage. A new special tool is available for the shift linkage adjustment. Refer to the repair manual for adjustment procedures. A rear heater is standard equipment on all Eurovans. The rear heater and heater components are located under the center of the vehicle. Engine coolant is supplied to the heater core by these two hoses. A separate blower motor for the rear heater forces air through the heater core and out an adjustable vent inside the vehicle. Air is drawn into the heater here at the step at the sliding door. The heater vent pulls up from the floor inside the van. This design helps distribute heat evenly throughout the rear passenger and cargo area. On vehicles equipped with air conditioning, this heater will not operate if the AC or defrost position is selected. This helps to keep the rear windows from fogging. Two types of heating and ventilation systems are used on the Eurovan. One system for vehicles equipped with AC and another system for vehicles without AC. Both systems will have this air recirculation switch which opens and closes a flap in the air intake duct. On vehicles equipped with AC, the rear heater is controlled by these two dials. This one is for blower speed control, and this one is for temperature control. The rear AC is controlled by these two dials. This one is for blower speed control, and this one is for temperature regulation. Also, keep in mind that the rear AC will only operate when the front AC is switched on. On vehicles without air conditioning, the rear heater will only have this blower speed control. The temperature is regulated by the temperature control lever for the front heater. The components for the rear AC system are located above the right rear wheel well. A temperature control regulating module is located here at the bottom brace for the rear AC. The temperature control module receives a signal from this temperature sensor located on top of the evaporator housing and the temperature control potentiometer to regulate rear AC temperature. The high speed fan relay is located here on the blower motor housing. 
The resistor for the evaporator fan is located here in front of the evaporator. This is the expansion valve for the rear evaporator, and it's the same type that is used on the front evaporator. The flow of refrigerant to the rear evaporator is controlled by a shutoff valve here. The AC system on the new Eurovans will use the new R134A refrigerant. Although the R134A system and the R12 system look similar, there are differences and component failure will occur if refrigerant or oil from the two systems are mixed. The AC components used with the R134A system are also not interchangeable with R12 systems. R134A components can be identified by green markings. For example, the AC compressor should have a green label on it identifying R134A system. If you're not sure or a green marking is not visible, make sure to check the part numbers on the components prior to installation. The equipment needed to service the R134A system is also different since the lubricants and the refrigerant are not compatible with previous systems. In addition, you'll notice that the service fittings on the vehicles using the R134A use different thread configurations. This helps to prevent connection of R12 tools and equipment to R134A components. Well, that about does it. More information on the new R134A refrigerant will be covered in next month's video release, number 247. Or you can refer to the Service Training Self-Study Program titled AC Systems with R134A. For more information on the Eurovan, you can refer to the Service Training Self-Study Program number 401, the new Volkswagen Eurovan. Let's take a quick look at what we covered in this tape. We looked at the 2.5 liter five-cylinder engine and the engine cooling system, which features two radiator fans and shutters. We looked at the fuel delivery system with a split fuel rail, which is designed to feed fuel into the side of the injectors. We also took a quick look at the Digifon engine management system. The use of shift block three on four-speed automatic transmission equipped vehicles. And an overview of the heating, ventilation, and AC system on the Eurovan including component locations and the use of R134A refrigerant. We hope you find the information in this tape useful in giving you an overview of the new Volkswagen Eurovan and helping you to service your Volkswagen customers. Thanks for watching and see you next time.